Tanya Miller. Welcome back to my channel. So you probably saw the trays that I picked up when you watched my Junkin' vlog. It's here on the channel. And these are a few of them. I picked up a few more as well. Today we're going to go ahead and get started on these two and it's going to be a quick flip. You find platters like this all the time. I don't even know half the time what they're made out of, but all I know is I'm going to grab my Junk Monkey Chalky style paint that sticks to pretty much anything under the sun and it's just going to stick to it. I bought this one for $2.99 right here you can see and the other one I also scored for $2.99. The project I'm going to share with you today is going to be good for young and old, okay? I'm going to show you no matter what your age, you can have fun with these trays and how to incorporate them and how to repurpose them into your home. This one kind of made me laugh because whoever owned this tray, she put her initials everywhere. V, B. Who does that when you go to potlucks, right? Who remembers doing that? Your container, your Tupperware container, your any container, gotta have your initials on it so it always gets returned back home. So I love that. I think all of mom's containers have initials on them. We're going to create chalkboards. Chalkboards, yes. If you've got kitties, trays like these are perfect. Give them a bunch of sidewalk chalk because they can put it in their lap. They can sit outside on the step and have fun with it. It's the perfect gift to give this season. And you can find these anywhere. So I'll show you how I do it real quick. This is the chalky style paint, as I told you. And remember that if you do not seal our paint, you have a chalkboard on your hands. So think about that. How many colors do we have right now? That means you can do a chalkboard in any color that makes you happy. I'm gonna go with a classic black for this project, but watch and see what I do. I'm not gonna prime this, I'm not gonna strip this, I'm not gonna sand this, I'm just gonna go right into my black paint, which is a nice true black. So straight onto the platter, my black velvet goes. And boom, just like that, we are creating a chalkboard. Now, when I create chalkboards, first tip is I love to brush on my paint versus spraying it on or rolling it on. I just love to brush it because those brush marks, when you run your chalk over it, it just catches really nice. And while that one is drying, let's go ahead and do the same and add a layer right here. Again, we can splash it on the edges our paint just goes on so easy that is just one coat real quick boom just like that let them dry okay so when I'm creating chalkboards especially to be used by kiddos I do like to make sure I put a couple layers of the paint on this way it's much more durable because I've seen lots of kids with chalk sticks and uh, some of them can really pack a punch if you know what I'm saying so let's go ahead and add a second layer of that paint as well and let's go ahead and do the second coat on the little tray too. Very nice. While that's drying, I'm gonna go wash some brushes. Okay, these have dried really quickly and now we're gonna go in and we're gonna add a little dash of color. You know when you're ba baking something and you add a little splash of this, little dash of that. We could leave it silver on the outside if we want. We would have just been a little bit more careful with the splashing that I talked about. I like to add color to the edging of my chalkboards, whether I'm using repurposed trays or whether I'm using um, old cabinet doors, any of those things, because color just makes me happy and I'm fine. I mean, it makes a whole lot of other people happy too. So, and plus we have the Sharpie of VB. Boy, if only she knew how her tray would have been given a new life. So this is why I like to splash a little bit of the black up here because I like it how now when I go over to give it my color edging, I'm gonna dry brush it, it allows some of that black to come through. So it gives me like this really antiqued edge around the edge. Color, bring on the color, yay! All right, let's do the other one. What color should we put the other one in while that one is drying, guys? Any ideas? How about we do some Sweet Sunset? Sweet Sunset is this really pretty orangey sunset color. And let's go ahead, oh, I love this color with black. Oh yeah, look how yummy that is. Okay, we are dried, so now you better believe that we're gonna do some distressing. For me, I love to do some distressing around the edges. Bring a little bit of that beautiful silver through. Now, what I would normally do is wait 24 hours before I use them because your paint continues to cure, especially in the first 24 to 48 hours, even though it's dry to the touch. So yes, while I could use these as chalkboards right now, what I wanna do is give them time to really cure a little bit more, so that's gonna help with the durability factor. But right now, if I wanted to, I could totally grab a stick of chalk. Don't forget that what you're gonna wanna do is season your chalkboard. So you're gonna take a chicka, <laughs> a chicka stock. <laughs> You're gonna take a stick of chalk and you're just gonna go put it on its side and basically go all over with it on its side. It's gonna fill in those pores 
So that way you don't get what's called ghosting, which is when the very first thing that you write on your chalkboard sticks in your chalkboard. Oh yeah, baby, look how pretty that is already. Do you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Not only does the is the inside the chalkboard, but also the outside is as well, right? So give this to a kitty, give them a little basket, you know, paint a cute little basket filled with chalk, add a little bit of something something on it. So <laughs> yeah, let's grab some polka dots because we love some polka dots. Just to personalize it, you can put a tag on there, like a gift tag or anything like that. And look, we now have a little polka dot tray. But let's say that you are having a get together and you want to label your food. Pepper Jack cheese. Let's do the same thing. Look at it. Oh my gosh, she's the bee's knees. She is the bee's knees. Now remember the moment you put banana peel on it or you put our monkey shine onto it, at that point it becomes a fully finished piece of furniture. Done, these gifts are done. Guys, thank you for hanging out again today on the vlog. I would love it if you would share this video. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Have you ever made a chalkboard with our paint before? Will you think about doing it now? See you guys again tomorrow. We'll be back at it again.